When we started My Saint, My Hero, we really wanted to bring forth elements that were a sacramental. They were elements of our faith that have been around for centuries. So we really wanted to make every element with intention and with purpose. And when we do that, if you start from there, to making sure the metal and the cords and everything are purposeful, we also wanted to make sure that as they are woven, that every piece is woven with love and prayer, that it's actually infused right into the weaving and it's part of it. God imparted this desire on my heart to start my Saint My Hero, and soon after I went on to pilgrimage to Medjugorje, and uh, the spiritual director, Father John Bartunek, I told him the whole story and I said, I want every piece to have intention. And he said, they need to be woven by women of prayer. Soon on that same pilgrimage, I met a woman in Medjugorje. She was weaving bracelets and I asked her if she could weave a bracelet for us. And she said, absolutely, this is what I do. So not only did I feel just ignited, every time I put that bracelet on, I felt ignited. And I came home from that trip, and I knew that that was the birth of My Saint, My Hero. We started offering them out, and people wanted them, and everybody, my intention was that people would feel just the love of Jesus, and that they were loved, and what we had felt in Medjugorje. How do we bring that home to everyone? And how do they get that little element, even if they can't go? And because they were infused with prayer, people were feeling it. And they're like, Amy, can I get more for my family? And and so I called Anita and she said, Amy, after you left, my dear friend Lenka, she said, do you have any work for me so that I could keep food on my table for my kids? And Anita said, I don't have work. And she said, but what, what can you do? And Lenka said, I know how to weave bracelets. And Anita said, well, here at the Pilgrims normally want rosaries. She goes, I don't know how to make those, but I know how to make bracelets. And Anita said, well, if that crazy American girl calls me back, you can have that work. So Anita said, I told her that, and I didn't know if you were gonna call me back. And she goes, but now that you did, I can give her work. And the more work you give me, the more work I can give to women that need work. They want work, they wanna be empowered by work. They don't want a handout. They wanna show their kids that they can do what they love and also provide. That started with one woman that went to two, and now there's about three villages so there's three communities in Medjugorje, and now we have a community in Kampala, Uganda that's weaving for us, and we have a community in Mexicali. God wants us to feel that, that emotion of hope. That emotion of hope pulls us forward, it pulls us up. You know, the world is hard, but hope allows us to rise above that with this excitement for what's to come. I want it to be something we want to wear. I want it to be a conversational piece. I want somebody to go, I love your bracelet, and then find out why. Because I want it to be attractive and so that they are drawn to the beauty. And beauty becomes fashion, and fashion becomes beauty. And when you combine that with intention and purpose, it's like the trifecta.